our coalition is providing tools for social services providers who then go to communities and teach people about those things that make them um, more settled or better settled in this country. We serve all faiths and, and uh, all races, some of them coming from refugee camp, or they might come from a totally different system, economical system, political system, where some things uh, weren't um, existed. Over the years, over the last 30 years, we resettled more than 35,000 refugees from former Soviet Union. When I came to this country 16 years ago as, as a refugee, and I came from former Soviet Union, um, for example, I have no idea what is a bank system, what is a uh, credit card, or a uh, checkbook. Um, so you can imagine that people who come to this country have uh, either little knowledge or no knowledge at all about financial system. For example, uh, just last week I was at Ethiopian uh, community where recently arrived refugees leave and they told me that they have no idea uh, how to shop because they, you know, they didn't have big huge stores like we have. So stores like Dominic's or Joe. It's, it's disaster for them. We establish mentoring program where we try to um, find a mentor for every refugee family who come into this country or come in here to Illinois. And so the mentors can come to refugee and tell them, oh, okay, I will show you the store where you can buy those things that you are cultural familiar with. Our agency is very culturally sensitive to people that we serve. Uh, I think it's, it's very important uh, as social service provider to be culturally competent and culturally sensitive. We are very good at uh, building coalitions and leading the coalitions. It's very important because um, you can imagine uh, you're working not only within your own agency, but you're working outside, trying to unite, to find a um, common goal and common task for all different social services providers that work in the area. Recently, I've got a phone call from a very new uh, agency that just kind of uh, people got together and decided to build new agency. So they called us asking for suggestions, asking for uh, some input and for training because they know that we are here at Jewish Child Family Services have 150 years of history. Recently, I had very interesting conversation with a person uh, who never talked to his wife about money. He said, "It's not a woman; uh, it's not in woman power to talk about money." Um, it seemed, you know, kind of unusual for me. But again, that was his cultural um, knowledge. A week ago, I saw him again, and he said, "You know what? My wife and I went to bank and opened bank account together." I believe starting talking to him about that make him real made him realize that uh, it is in women' power to talk about money or make some money decisions. And I believe that's what is my work about. When some people can improve their life and improve their you know family life. Um, that's what I would like to hear. Being a former refugee myself, now giving back to the community that resettled me, uh, me it's huge for me.